Welcome to Creative Tian channel. I'm going to start making some videos about gloves and mittens on a knitting machine. We'll try to have different variations. We will start with very basic mitten. And for this project, I'm going to start with the mark ribbon from the bottom up. If you have a ribber, you can knit the ribbon separately or even just hand knit. Or you can do hand manipulation on LK150 knitting machine. It just takes some time. The yarn I'm using today is the Lion brand Mandela yarn. And this one is category 3. It's about the DK weight in the US. This pattern is for average adult. So you have to adjust it if you have bigger hands or smaller hands. You can adjust the size by changing the tension and changing the size of the yarn and also by increasing or decreasing stitches and row numbers. First, I will knit with a few rows of waist yarn and ravel cord. And I want a total of 37 stitches. So I start from left 18 to right 19. And I'm going to start with every other needle because we are going to do the mark ribbon. And we are going to fold it up and hand the needles back before we continue the main part of the mitten. I'm just doing the simple e wrap need a few rows, and then add the rebel cord. For the tension, I set it around 6.5 throughout, and you can make the ribbon smaller tension or bigger tension. It's up to you. I'm changing to my rebel cord. That's what it looks like. And we'll change to the main yarn and start knitting 30 rows. Uh, after 30 rows, we will pick up the stitch and hand it back to the empty needles. So this is the first stitch. That's the main yarn. Hand it back to the empty needle. This is the second one. Now we'll hand some weight and then knit 15 rows. Change the counter back to zero. And you can push out all the needles. It's easier to knit. And you can take off the waist yarn now. Just pull the rebel cord. You can see our mark ribbon and 15 rows of plain knitting. Here is a little diagram. For the left hand, we are going to have the opening here. And for the right hand, we have the opening here. Because we are looking from the back side, so after we take it off the machine, it will be upside down. And I like to knead the thumb first. So it's continuous, so I don't need a lot of sewing at the end. And I have six stitches for the thumb. And now I will just take the rest of the stitches of the machine and leave the six stitches in the center toward the left. Now I have six stitches for the thumb and I use a weight to hold down 
the rest. So I have to cut the yarn. I'm going to cast stitches on the opposite side. So when I have opening on the left side, I'm going to do the right side. I will make total around 14 stitches. So I add eight stitches here. And I'm just going to attach the yarn and uh, I'll start from I will start from the right most needle of the six stitches. And I pin down the young end. You can push all the needles out. Place a carriage to the right side. Now we will need 15 rows. Remember to add some weight here. Now we will start decreasing and I will separate into sections. I have three stitches, four stitches, three stitches, four stitches. The point is to decrease evenly. I will just use one prong tool and uh, move one stitch over. So that's one stitch decreased and the empty needle go back to A. And this one is the second section. Move one stitch over. One, two, three, four. And then this is the next one. The three stitch one, move one over, one, two, three, and the last four stitches, decrease one stitch. Because we have empty needles in between, we don't want to create gaps or longer yarns in between. So we have to push everything together by transferring. So I will move this one. Yep. We have to move stitch by stitch. It's not a very big section, so even though it's kind of tedious, it's not going to take too long. Now we need one row and we'll decrease again. Now we have 10 stitches so we can make it into a section of three, four and three. And we move the first stitch of each section to the next one. So you will have three stitches decreased. And again, we move the empty needle to the A position and we don't want to have gap in between the stitches. So we transfer the stitches. Toward the center. Now we will need one row. And we can decrease one more time. Two stitches, three stitches, two stitches. So that's three stitches to decrease. One. 
the second one and then two and now we move all the stitches towards the center so there's no gap now we only have four stitches I can just cut a yarn, leave a long tail, and then thread it through those four stitches. Now we finish the thumb, we can hand back the whole piece. And remember we have six stitches for the thumb hole, so we'll leave those six stitches and hand back the rest. After we hem back all the stitches, we can also hem back the some stitches we just needed. So we increased A stitches, but we only have six empty stitches here. So we'll have one extra stitch on each side. And I'm going to place on the next stitch. So we'll have two yarns on the stitch that's outside the sixth stitch. And I'm going to pick up both legs of the V for the six stitches. And pick up one more. So this stitch will have two yarns and then the six stitches in the middle and this one has two yarns. Now we can start knitting. I will hand more weight. Now we'll knit 20 rows. Set the counter back to zero and knit 20 rows. And we have to thread the yarn again. I'm going to start my carriage from the right side. After 20 rows, we are going to start decrease. And since we are going to have the triangular or the wrong shape on both sides, we are going to do it separately. So I will put one side on hold and work on one side first. Or you can take off the half of the stitches of the machine with a waist yarn and work on one side first. And then we will reverse. We'll hand back the rest of the stitches and uh, work on the decrease. For the holding position, I'm going to move this lever to one on both sides. That means the needle in the D position will not need. So I will place one side of a stitch to the D and will decrease this side first. I'm going to use a three prong tool for the full fashion decrease. So I will decrease one stitch on each side. And I will need three rows. And I will do it one more time. We'll decrease one more stitch. empty needle back to A and this time we'll need two rows and we'll decrease one more time and 
one row. And we'll do two more times of the one row decrease. So that's the slope we have here. If you want, you can keep decreasing if you like a sharper angle. So now you have choice. You can just knead a few rows of waist yarn. So you have live stitches. You can do Kitchener stitch later. Or you can just bind off and then sew it together later. I'm going to take off the stitches on my circular needle. So later we can do Kitchener. Now we'll work on the left side the same way. But remember to move the Russell lever from one to two. So you will need all the stitches. So that's what it looks like after taking off the machine. It will be all one piece. And we already have the thumb needed. Now we just have to do the seaming, maybe Kitchener the top, seam the side, and also the side of the thumb. And if there's any gap at the base of the thumb, we can weave in the end and try to close any gap. Thank you so much for watching today and see you next time.